Hello and welcome to another video tutorial series from Stream 101. This time we're going to be setting up Radio Boss, uh, which is another broadcast software uh, similar to Radio DJ or Sam Broadcaster uh, that does work with our service pretty well. So uh, let's get started and get you streaming. So first thing, obviously you're going to have to install Radio Boss. It's pretty easy. You download the file, um, you double click it, and you click next a couple times. Once you get it open, you just have to configure some playlists, stuff like that. Once you're ready to hook it up to our streaming service, uh, we'll head over to our website as always and go to the media control panel. So you're going to log in with the details that you were emailed uh, once you signed up. Um, you can always change the password from within the client area, uh, but for now uh, we're going to assume that all the details are the default. We're logged in here. We're going to head over to Quick Links. And scroll about halfway down the page. This is where you're going to want to pay attention to some of the uh, connection information, the live source connections here. It's going to give us our server type, our host name, our port number, uh, password. By default is the same password that we just used to log into. We do recommend that you do change that once you log in. You can change it, as it says, from the stream settings page. You go to this page here, you erase that out, you change it. Once you do change it, it will let you know that you need to restart your server for it to take effect. To restart your server, simply press stop. It'll let you know it's going to shut down and disconnect. You press OK, hit return, and then hit start again. And your server starts back up. So anyways, we'll head back to that quick link section. Uh, just notate that bit rate as well. Let's head over to Radio Boss. From there, we're going to go to the settings and go to the options here. From there, the metadata tab. So here's where you want to set up your initial station information. We're going to call ours the Stream 101 Demo Station. We'll call it Test. And then you'll put in your uh, genre information, your URL, any other information that's pertaining here. Now we head to the Broadcast tab, which is right above the metadata. Here's where we want to go and hit the plus icon. So this um, is pretty easy. We're going to actually open up the configuration wizard. Now currently uh, we sell Shoutcast version 1, so that's what you're going to leave it on. Click, uh, but if, we, uh, if you do have Icecast, you could pick Icecast as well. The setup's almost identical. Press Next. Server address. Uh, if you remember from before, that was on the previous page uh, under the media control panel under Quick Links. Port number also found there. So here's where you need to pay attention. Um, Radio Boss is nice, it'll pull in statistics for you, but you need to make sure you can give it the admin password. Now the admin password is the password you use to log in. The password on the left hand side that it's talking about is for the actual stream server itself. So it is possible that these will be different depending how you set it up. By default, they will be the same in the beginning. Go ahead and click finish when you're all done. Now we just need to check a couple more options here. Uh, we do want ours to be publicly displayed, so we're going to check this box here. And let's say you have multiple encoders, for example, a 128 kbps stream, a 64 kbps stream, things like that. We're going to go ahead and just notate that this is our 128 mp3 stream. If you remember from the Quick Links page on the media control panel, we did have a 128k stream. Uh, we're going to choose to use mp3. This is Shoutcast version 1, so you could use AAC Plus if you want, uh, but we're going to use MP3. From here, uh, I like to have it auto-reconnect after one second. Generally what happens, let's say on your end, if you have a network glitch or uh, something of the sort, your internet drops out for a second, this will retry to connect every one second. Uh, if we leave it at the default 10 seconds, it would you know, wait 10 seconds, but I like to try and get connected back as uh, fast as possible just in case. Press OK. Now we can see this is here. Uh, pretty easy. Press OK after that. Uh, and you're just going to click this broadcasting button. You click the broadcasting button, it'll start connecting right to that encoder. Now on our particular box, we have one more setup to do uh, because we don't actually have uh, speakers on it. It's a virtual machine. So I'm going to go ahead and enable that. Uh, we'll restart Radio, uh, Radio Boss real quick. Continue and we'll start broadcasting. So we start broadcasting here. Just to confirm, we'll go back to options. We'll go to broadcast. 
we need to check this box here. Notice it says it's active. If we look on the left side, connected to server output number one. Uh, you can have multiple uh, encoders and each one would be listed there. Just to confirm, we're going to go back to the media control panel, go to the overview, and you'll see that uh, the stream is started. The track that's currently playing is showing up now. Uh, if you notice up at the top stations online, uh, it says it's offline, but it only checks every few minutes um, just to conserve server resources. But at this point, you are up and going. You can see over here on this icon here, server status, streaming servers currently online and operational, which means we are receiving the stream and you're good to go. Thanks for watching.